Hi, Norman Hallett here with your next four minute drill for traders. I didn't want the year to end without making sure that I did two things. One, making sure I wished every one of you a happy holiday and a happy and healthy new year. Two, that I made sure that you understood my position on the importance of loving yourself as a trader. Yes, loving yourself as a trader. Look, every day, we as traders go out there and expose ourselves to the craziness of the markets. Sadly for most traders, the market chews you up, spits you out, leaves you with doubts as to whether the art of trading is really something worth doing. For the few, the few traders who get it, well, they understand that it's not about what the market is doing. It's about what you are doing and how you approach the market. I don't mean with a good trading plan that back tests well. What I mean is how you are approaching the market in terms of self-confidence and self-control. And it's with this realization that it's you and not the market that needs to make sense, that needs to be in control, that needs to be confident, that will take you to the promised land in your trading. You need to be discipline-centric in your trading, not market centric. The fact is that most traders spend most of their time tweaking their trading system, trying to reach some sort of perfection, the perfect trading system, and they spend very little time on what's infinitely more important, their trading discipline, which when mastered results in undying confidence and a beautiful life. I like to talk about a very successful hedge fund trader and my friend Ray Barros. Ray spends an hour a day journaling. The reason? He gets it. He, he understands totally that he is only in control of one thing in his trading, himself, which he has learned to understand is all he needs to be extremely successful in what he does. And his tool for self-assessment, self-improvement is the same as your tool, his journal. So Ray spends an hour a day journaling. How much time do you spend? Sure, he spends plenty of time on his trading plan, but once he's got it, that set, it's set. And then his attention is focused on one thing, his ability to run that trading plan and at the core of this is self-confidence to get the job done, to love what he's doing, to love himself as a trader. He doesn't spend any time doubting whether trading is for him. He was made for trading. That's his inner feeling. And the same thing could be true for you. Yes, spend time on your trading plan. Get it right with all the right risk and money management elements. But once that's done, turn the majority of your attention to you, your discipline, and love your trading. If you don't love yourself as a trader, then get to work so that you do. And not on your trading plan. Get to work on you. The great part is that when you finally commit to being the disciplined trader, it's like a weight is lifted off of you. And that's because you're in control and that you're in line with your passion. You love yourself as a trader and you and your family will reap the benefits. Take some time before the year ends. Not being hard on yourself for all the things you should have done as a trader, but thankful for what you learn this year and the opportunity to be the disciplined trader next year because you will commit to be discipline centric in your trading this year. And again, I wish you all a happy holiday season and great success for 2012. And hey, when you see Santa, make sure you tell him one thing. Hey Santa, stay disciplined.